Hey there beautiful people, how are you today? I had a discussion yesterday with a counsellor and he was talking about empaths and the research that has gone on in relation to being an empath, but also being empathic to other human beings. And what we're seeing, and I'm sure you're feeling it if you're a sensitive little soul, is that it's hard to always be kind to people when they don't believe anything you believe, whether you believe in lockdowns or don't, whether you believe in the, you know, mm -hmm, or don't, whether you believe in the masks or you don't, whether you believe in being a good person and doing everything your government tells you or don't, whether you believe in all of the science or don't, or the pseudoscience, whether you, what, what you know, with, as we get more knowledge, sometimes we become arrogant in that knowledge and we lose our empathy for the people who don't have the knowledge we have. And then it becomes harder to be kind. The only way we're going to move forward well on the planet is through kindness. Do we want any other sort of world really? So I thought I would do a balance around empathy. So. Uh, some of the research around empathy this counsellor was talking to me about was saying that the prefrontal cortex, the more your prefrontal cortex is communicating with your ability to speak or calm or take a breath. You've probably heard me chat about the Wim Hof method, uh, a breathing method that I highly, highly, highly recommend because what it does when you get into breathing, you allow yourself to take a breath before you say something. And therefore, you even double check it in your own mind. When we don't have a filter, sometimes we simply speak and sometimes it's not the best to just speak, speak, speak. So, so empathy, the better our prefrontal cortex is communicating with our conscious, I'm alive, I'm, I'm kind, I'm awake part of the brain, the easier it is to be human in all facets, all facets. And we want to be, I've heard a lot of light workers talking in the last six, eight months about being in a 5D world. And I heard a really nice little uh, description of that this morning. And it was, it's about being open to information. It's about living without fear. It's being open to information from your government, but being allowed to use your own brain. It's about looking at everything we know and allowing yourself to be alive and awake and alert to what feels right, to what feels wrong, and then trusting your gut. So being a 5D human, it's really like, is there any a time in our history on the planet where it was more important being to be open, to be alive, to be awake, to be kind, to be empathetic to everyone around us, Everyone can't have the same information we have at all times. It just isn't possible. So whatever information you've looked at isn't the same information I've looked at. I've got my opinions because of what I have learned. You've got your opinions because of what you're, you, you have learned. And if we have a discussion, information can cross over. And that would be being human on the planet. Isn't it good to share information with people, to share ideas and concepts? I think that's the problem when we're saying, oh, let's use science as an example. Anyone who says the science is settled isn't a scientist. Science should never be settled. Science should always be open for the new information. If we go back and redo a trial or do, redo a test or redo an experiment and it doesn't come out the same way, that's got to be a shift in science. So, so we'll do empathy. Oh, I've just had someone arrive. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry, beautiful people. Back in two shakes.